What's up, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint. Today, we're going to count down the top 10 must-read comics, so stay tuned. All right, guys, before we jump into this list, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and also hit the notification bell. All right, I wanted to make a video that just kind of highlights what are the top 10 comic book stories that you need to read. This could be for brand new readers. This could be for readers who just want to see if their favorite title made the list. We came up with this list based on doing a poll in our Facebook group, Geminites. If you want to participate in these polls, make sure you go ahead to Facebook, search Geminites. It says a group for collectors and request to join. You have to answer three questions, otherwise you're gonna get denied, but uh, join the fun in on Facebook. This isn't like a top 10 absolute edition or omnibus edition. I just so happen to have these top 10 stories in these formats, so I figured I'd bust them out, dust them off, and show them while we talk about them. So we're gonna jump right into the list. The number 10 must read comic book. It was actually Planet Hulk slash World War Hulk. So. I happen to have these both in omnibus format, but whatever way you can read these stories, this is definitely one of the best comic book stories from Marvel, one of the best Hulk stories. It actually made number 10 on this list out of all these other comics that were there. Planet Hulk is an awesome story about Hulk's out of control, he's caused too much property damage, he's just been a thorn in everyone's side one too many times so the fantastic four the avengers decide hey let's put this guy in a spaceship send him to a peaceful little planet where he could just chill and not hulk smash well the plan uh, the ship goes off course and he goes to the opposite a battle planet where he's got a fight to survive and he thrives goes from gladiator hulk to king hulk awesome story it's definitely a must read if you have not read this run number nine on the list is preacher this is the absolute edition there are three absolute editions that uh, collect this whole run but there's also hardcovers trade paperbacks either way garth ennis's preacher is one of my favorite comic book runs it was actually my top read of 2018 if you guys will remember awesome run they did make a tv show out of it don't let that tv show sway your decision the comic is 20 times better it has humor, it has raunchiness, it has a nice heaven and hell kind of story where God is missing, the angels don't want to let anybody know, and we have our main character who has the voice of God that can make people do things against their will. It's just a great story altogether. Number nine on the list. Number eight on the list is Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns. This is a comic that really made a big impact in the 80s. It took a very dark, mature take at Batman, it's been uh, adapted to live action movies with Batman vs Superman, bits and pieces of it. It's been made into an animated series. They've had three sequels in the comics so far. Just a great futuristic take on Batman. He's old, he's still kicking ass, taking names, and it's just a very mature run at a time where comics were a little bit campy. This kind of brought us into a new era of comics. However you could read the four graphic novels that make up Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns, I suggest you do it. Number seven on the list is the Frank Miller Daredevil run. It's pretty much the same thing he did with Batman, but he did it with Daredevil in a Marvel title. We get the introduction of Elektra, a much more mature Daredevil book, hits rock bottom, which he ends up doing a lot later on in his career, thanks to what Frank Miller did here. I think Daredevil's the best when he's at his bottom. The stuff with Kingpin, the stuff with Punisher. I love how Elektra, man, he, he would draw her killing people, stabbing them with their sigh, and you see it kind of, their shirt poking out in the back. That's always like an iconic panel that like resonates with me. A must read, one of the best Daredevil runs, if not the best, based on the poll you guys thought it was. Number six on the list was the Batman Court of Owls storyline. They have an absolute edition for that. They have it in trades. It also is collected in this Batman by Snyder and Capullo omnibus. Batman Court of Owls is a 12, 13 issue run, something like that, that just gives so much more depth to Gotham and Batman's rogues. It introduces the Court of Owls who have been secretly living in Gotham, playing behind the scenes, living on the 13th floor of buildings. They have their enforcer, the Talons, and it just is an awesome storyline. It's a must read. It's uh, accessible. You don't need to know anything else going into it. Great artwork, great writing, great story altogether. Court of Owls. All right, number five on the list is another Batman book. Batman the Long Halloween. That was created by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale. It is collected in this omnibus and it also has its own absolute edition. I'm sure there's a trade paperback for it as well. But the Long Halloween is a very dark gritty tale. Batman trying to solve a murder. He's going to Arkham. He's trying to get advice from the calendar man. He's trying to figure out why this person is killing on these certain dates and 
it, it just the atmosphere alone is what's worth reading this book. There was so much inspiration taken from these stories uh, for the Dark Knight trilogy, the Christopher Nolan and um, Zack Snyder. Just a classic run, easily accessible, must read. All right, number four on the list is Jeff John's Green Lantern. It's collected in three omnibus, plus there is a whole other Blackest Night omnibus that collects the main story as well as tie-ins. But Jeff John totally reimagining the entire Green Lantern Corps, introducing the emotional spectrum of color, all the other Green Lantern Corps. Uh, like I mentioned, Blackest Night, which was a very dope uh, DC zombie story. So definitely an essential read. I would recommend picking up the omnibus so you just get all the material. Gotta read Jeff John's Green Lantern. Number three on the list is Kingdom Come. This is the Alex Ross, Mark Wade classic storyline that's collected in a trade paperback form it was a graphic novel this is the absolute edition first of all it's not too often that you get alex ross doing interior artwork he always just makes superheroes seem so much more realistic this is a futuristic elseworld story that kind of puts traditional heroes that are getting old up against new extreme vigilante type uh heroes it almost reminds me of like in comics you have the classic heroes like Superman but then you have these like newer mutants and punks like that and image superheroes and I don't I don't know if that was a basis of this story but it's kind of like these young punks coming in doing crazy stuff and uh, basically trying to prevent um, a big war between Lex Luthor and all these super people so must read awesome artwork great writer kingdom come number two on the list and rightfully so alan moore's watchmen watchmen is a great read it's something that if you're new to comics you gotta let go that these are not characters that you're familiar with i know it's a guy that looks like batman i know that there's this weird blue guy who's naked that is kind of like a superman type character forget all that what you know and just read the book it's an excellent story that has obviously been published in multiple formats this is the absolute edition you can get a trade paperback of this they recently had a TV show of this. They recently had uh, a sequel with Doomsday Clock. They've had a before Watchmen run. But basically, Watchmen emulates real-life comics as well. You have the Minutemen who take place in like the Golden Age. You have the, uh, the modern heroes and vigilantes that become a little bit more extreme, like the comedian, like Rorschach. And you have this diabolical plan, which uh, is kind of like a Thanos. He means well, but it's going to come at a cost. Excellent read. You gotta watch it and watch the movie. It's probably one of the most comic accurate movies out there and it's kind of slept on. So Watchmen by Alan Moore, number two, must read comic. The number one must read comic book. I'm a little bit shocked. It's not something that I would have picked, but Batman the Killing Joke. And I can kind of understand why it was chosen because it's a very accessible Batman book. You don't have to know anything else going into this. This is just a quick read that you can get through and it really makes you think. The artwork is good. It's got humor to it. It's also very dark. It's another Alan Moore book who he got the first and second spots on this list. Uh, everybody has seen this cover. You might have seen the animated uh, movie that really was not a good representation of it. This is a short read. Pick up the graphic novel. This really just reprints it twice. Two different versions. The original coloring and a recoloring. It's a must-read book, a must-read Batman book. Something you could just dive into and enjoy and then have it under your belt. Alright guys, so that's the top 10 list. Let me know what you would have placed on this list that didn't make it. I know there's some stories that I really like, like Uncanny X-Force. I really like Death of Superman. I really like Superior Spider-Man. This was a DC heavy list too, but don't blame me. This was voted by you guys. So let me know what you would have thrown on this list. Do you agree with any ones that did make the list? Drop me a line in the comments below. Make sure you hit the like button before you leave. And make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Thanks for watching, you guys. Stay minty fresh. Peace.